Hi guys, it's Miss Stacy. So it's September now and it's the start of our new school year. So I thought we would do an activity about school buses. So most of you, when you come to school, you ride on the bus, right? And some buses are kind of small, like this one. Some buses are kind of big, like this one. And some buses are different colors, but most buses are yellow, right? So we recognize the school bus when it's yellow and it usually has black wheels and it drives up to your house and maybe it says beep beep and then you come out of your house and you get on the bus and the bus drives you to school, right? So we're going to make our own sensory bottle that's yellow and black like a school bus and it's kind of fun to look at and to listen to. So ours kind of looks like it's shaped more like the big bus, right, than the small bus. So it's kind of long, and then it gets shorter at the end, just like the school bus does. So we'll put our buses over here. So we can remember, and we can look at them. I'll just put them on the other side of the table, so we can look at them if we need to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill our bottle with things that are yellow. So we're going to start with some things that make noise, and then we'll add some other yellow things that aren't as noisy. You could use any kind of bottle you want, like a water bottle, any kind of empty plastic bottle you have. So I have this one, so I'm going to hold it in one hand, and I'll put my other hand on top, I'm going to turn my hand to twist the cap on. So now it's open. We can put things inside it. See that? So I was trying to find some things that were yellow, and some things that were yellow and would make noise. The first thing that I thought of was popcorn. This popcorn, it doesn't make that much noise when I'm taking it in the bag. And the kernels are really little. Can you see them? Usually when we see popcorn, it's just in the bag to pop it. But these are some kernels of popcorn, so it's dried corn. And I think that if we put some of them in our bottle, we'll hear them make more of a noise than they do in the bag. So let's try. Hopefully we don't make a mess, but no promises. Maybe we'll do it over this container just in case we make a mess. Uh oh, we're already making a mess, you guys. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can pinch it closed a little bit. And then pour it. So only a few come out. That's better. Do you hear them making that noise when they go in the bottle? We're still making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Oh dear. Oh man, popcorn's flying everywhere. Okay, at least most of it went into our container. Oh, some of them went on our floor, but we'll clean up later. Let's see if we can get some of this popcorn that went in our container and put it in. You never know what's going to happen. Yet. Ready? We'll pour this popcorn in. Put a few more in. There we go. So, let's listen. We'll put the cap on first. We'll shake it. Ooh! So it makes a pretty cool noise right now, but it doesn't really look like a bus. Most of it is still just an empty bottle, right? So what else could we put in here? We might do more popcorn later. That was a little bit messy, so we might save that for after, too. I got some of this candy. Have you guys ever had lemonhead candy? They're really good. I'm not going to eat one right now because I have a mask on, but they're really sour, and they get sweet at the end. And they're bright yellow, kind of the color of our school bus right here, close to it. And these make a good noise even when they're just in the box. Hear that? So I bet they'll make an even cooler noise in our bottle when we mix them in with our popcorn. So this time I'm not going to try to pour it. I'm just going to put them in with my hands. I'm going to put some in there. I still made a mess, you guys. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm going to put them in there. We'll get some more. And we're going to put the whole box. Okay, let's move this over so you can see. We're going to put the whole box of lemon heads into our box. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Catching them. They're rolling all over the place. Let's get some more. Here they come. Ready? Whoa! Next time, I think we should get a funnel if we try to do this. Do you think I should try to pour it, or do we think it's going to make a big mess? We're going to give it a try. I'm going to rip off this thing at the end. Your fingers crossed. Oh, we're doing okay. All right. Got it in the 
popcorn. Oh, nice. All right. So, let's see what it sounds like now. Oh, our bus is noisy, which is kind of good because buses are a little bit noisy. But it still does not fill all the way up yellow like we want. So it sounds really cool. So we're going to put some other yellow things in it that don't make so much noise. So then we can see, do we think that this stuff will still be as loud if we add other things that are quiet? I don't know. What can we put in there? Let's see. We have a few different sizes of these yellow pom-poms. Let's see the pom-poms. So we're gonna put those in. Let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three of the bigger ones, and now we have some little ones. One, two little ones. There's a lot of things in this container, and they're kind of on top of each other, and it makes it hard to see. All right, there's some more pom-poms. So here's another big one. Uh-oh. And another big one, and then there's four more little ones. So we go one, two, three, four. All right, so we're going to shake it up now that the pom-poms are in there and see if it made it quieter. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Not yet. It's still pretty noisy, even with those pom-poms on top. I mix them up. All right. What else can we put in there? We have some feathers. Here's one yellow feather, two yellow feathers, uh-oh, two yellow feathers, three yellow feathers, four yellow feathers. They take up a lot of space, but let's see what happens when we mix it together. Oh, it's getting a little bit quieter. Do you hear that? Mm-hmm. So now we have some different yellow shapes. I'll put in some shapes, okay? Here's a yellow rectangle. Two rectangles. Three rectangles. And I have one yellow square. And I have one yellow circle. And then we have two yellow ovals. We'll put all those in. And then I don't know what you would call these. These are kind of different yellow shapes. They're like an oval, but they're pointy at the end. We'll put them in. We have two yellow triangles. And we have a few more popcorn kernels that got stuck in this bowl before that are trying to get away from us. All right. Put those in and see how it sounds now. Let's see. All right. It's still pretty loud. I like it. What else can we put in there? There's this long yellow ribbon. Do you think we can put a whole yellow ribbon in there? Oh, man. Let's see. We'll squish it down in there. Nice. So now our yellow ribbon went into the bottom. And we have some yellow tissue paper that we can rip. So we can rip it with two hands. We'll go rip, rip, rip. We'll keep ripping off pieces of our yellow tissue paper. And then we're going to squish them into the bottle. There we go. We get some more. We're gonna rip, 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 and squish them in. We'll rip a little bit more. There's our yellow tissue paper. We're ripping it into little pieces, and we're gonna squish them down into our bottle. Let's see. It's getting pretty full. Let's see what it sounds like now. Mm. I think it helps us that we put all the noisy stuff together at the bottom. If we had put some of the quiet stuff on the bottom, I think it wouldn't be so noisy. But it's helping us. It's staying pretty noisy. So we put in a little bit more. It's almost full to the top. So I think we can fit some of this cool yellow paper, which is also a little bit messy. But let's see. Can we get it all in there without it escaping everywhere? There we go. Get it in there. Get it in, stick it in. I'm gonna push it down with my finger. See, now that it's close to the top, it doesn't just fall down. I gotta push it down like this. Do a little bit more, and then I think that's as much as we can fit in our bottle. If we fill it up too much, then the, the noisy stuff won't be able to move around. 
the Megan Eagle one. Sorry, a little bit more. And then we're going to put on our cover and listen to it one last time before we decorate it to turn it into a book. Let's see. So it's still making noise because our noise effect still has space, but it's almost full and it's the right color. There's still a little space there, but oh, look at that. When we bang it down, there's lots more space. Should we fill up that space with the one thing we didn't put in yet? We have these streamers. Let's get some yellow pieces of streamer and push them down with our finger. We'll rip them up. And we'll push them down in there. There we go. We'll go rip with our two hands and rip, rip, push it down. A little bit more. Rip, rip, rip. All right. Think now. Even if there's a little space, I think we're good. Okay. Ready? Oh, I think that this looks like a perfect bus, you guys. So it's all yellow all around. Just like this one. But what it's missing is the wheels. Maybe some windows. But we'll do the wheels first. All right, so we're gonna glue some wheels onto it. So I'm gonna take the glue with one hand. I'm gonna put some glue here and some glue here. The problem with glue is it takes a little while to dry. So we don't know if it'll dry so we can put it down on the table before the end of the video. So I'm not gonna put them on the other side. But you know if you were making it for real, you would do one, two, and then you would do, well, I guess we can put them on and just hope for the best. Ready? Three, four. So now there's four wheels on our bus. Can you see them? Four wheels, just like this bus has four wheels, right? If we wanted to make it really look like a bus, I'll oh, see. That's the problem with glue. Wheels are falling off already. We'll put it down like this. We could draw some windows on our bus, right? Should we do a window here for the driver? And we'll do a window here for the person behind him and another window here. So there's our windows on our bus. Maybe it has a little line here. And then there's one more important thing on the bus. Oh man, our glue is having some problems the problem with gluing stuff on. All right, there's one more kind of important thing on a bus that we notice. See this little red sign that comes out? And that's how if the bus is stopped with its door open to let you get on or off, the people going on the street, they know to stop, right? So let's make sure that we add our little red stop sign to our bus. There we go. All right. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. And once the glue finally dried, you could still shake it and listen to the cool noises that it was making. Right now, I'm going to shake it anyway so we can hear it, but I think that things are going to fall off, but that's okay. Ready? Shake, 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 shake. Oh, no. That's all right. Our wheels kind of fell off and our stop sign fell off when we were shaking it because we didn't let it dry. But so that's kind of a cool way. <laughs> To make a bus right and we learned about lots of things that were yellow and how to get them into our bottle so maybe i'll try it and maybe if you do it yellow let your glue dry before you try to pick it up so things don't fall off all right you can make your own bus to remind you that it's time to go back to school all right bye guys